The Kazan helicopter plant has effectively completed the import substitution program for its Onsat helicopter, a significant milestone for Russia's aviation industry. This achievement represents a critical step toward the full establishment of domestic production capabilities. The announcement was made during the visit of First Deputy Prime Minister Denis Mantorov to the facility on October 22, during which plant management displayed the aircraft that had been extensively modernized. The replacement of all foreign components with domestically produced alternatives is the most significant accomplishment of this transformation. Specifically, the Russian-made VK650V engines manufactured by the United Engine Corporation, UEC, have replaced the Pratt & Whitney Canada PW207K engines. This development is a significant step forward in Russia's pursuit of technological independence in its aerospace sector. Beyond the engine replacement, the modernized Onsat, which is currently undergoing ground tests at the Kazan facility, includes numerous noteworthy enhancements. The helicopter's control system and autopilot, which were previously dependent on foreign components, have been effectively replaced with Russian-manufactured alternatives. The aircraft's technological sovereignty is enhanced, while its renowned simplicity of operation is maintained by these modifications. Substantial performance enhancements are integrated into the modernization program, which surpasses mere component replacement. Engineers are currently in the process of extending the helicopter's flight range to an impressive 640 kilometers without the use of external fuel containers. This range can be increased to 800 kilometers by adding additional fuel capacity. This improvement resolves one of the few constraints that industry professionals had previously identified in the aircraft's commercial appeal, particularly in international markets. The ANSAT's progression from its inaugural flight in 1999 to its current status as a wholly localized Russian aircraft is indicative of the country's advancements in aerospace capabilities. It has become a versatile platform that serves a variety of sectors, such as emergency services, medical transport, and civilian operations, as the first Russian helicopter to be wholly designed and built in the post-Soviet era. Over 90 units of the helicopter have been delivered to Russian customers, with approximately 40 of them actively participating in the nation's medical aviation development program. The helicopter's medical configuration has been notably successful. The medical variant is equipped with advanced capabilities, such as a specialized module that facilitates full resuscitation procedures during flight and recent additions like a neonatal transport incubator and an infectious disease compartment for the secure transport of COVID-19 patients. The ANSAT Aorus is a noteworthy luxury variant. This premium version, which was unveiled at the MAX Air Show in 2019, is the result of a partnership with FSUE NAMI, the manufacturer of Aorus luxury vehicles. The ANSAT Aorus is distinguished by its premium interior and enhanced comfort features, which include improved vibration damping and noise insulation systems that provide a flight experience akin to that of a luxury vehicle. The Russian Aviation Authority granted Russian helicopters approval to manufacture this premium version in early 2020, thereby incorporating a high-end option into the ANSAT family. The helicopter's operational capabilities in challenging weather conditions will be enhanced by increasing its takeoff weight and implementing an improved anti-icing system as part of the modernization program. The ANSAT's reputation for simplicity and ease of maintenance, which have made it particularly appealing to operators in a variety of sectors, is further enhanced by these enhancements. The ANSAT's adaptability is one of its most significant assets. The cargo passenger interior is capable of being rapidly reconfigured to accommodate a variety of missions, including VIP transportation and emergency medical services. The standard passenger configuration can convey up to eight people, while the VIP version, which can accommodate five passengers, includes luxury amenities such as a minibar and a wardrobe. The helicopter's sophisticated flight control system further enhances its adaptability. The ANSAT, the first Russian civil aviation helicopter to feature a digital fly-by-wire control system, can be operated by a single operator in both automatic and manual modes, regardless of the weather. The digital displays simplify the pilot workload and improve operational safety 
by providing plain information about power plants and system modes. At present, the modernized ONSAT is being conspicuously displayed at an exhibition in front of the State Council of the Republic of Tatarstan building as part of the BRICS Summit Showcase. This public demonstration of the helicopter's new VK-650V turboshaft engine underscores Russia's advancements in aviation technology and manufacturing capabilities. The effective localization of ONSAT's components is not only a technological accomplishment, but also a strategic milestone in the aerospace industry of Russia. Flight tests are anticipated to commence by the conclusion of this year, following the conclusion of ground testing. This timeline guarantees that all safety and performance standards are met while maintaining the project's progress. Several established international competitors in the 3-4 ton class compete with the Russian-made ANSAT in the competitive landscape of light multipurpose helicopters. The Airbus H-135, formerly Eurocopter EC-135, is a primary competitor that is notably dominant in the emergency medical services sector. It has a capacity of 6 to 7 passengers, which is slightly less than ANSAT's 8-passenger configuration. The Bell 429, another significant competitor, has historically provided a superior range of 722 kilometers in comparison to ANSAT's original 505 kilometers. However, this disparity has been resolved by the modernized ANSAT M, which can now travel up to 800 kilometers with external tanks. Although the Bell 429 offers comparable adaptability to the market, it is generally priced at a higher level. The Leonardo AW109 series, which is manufactured in Italy, is a competitor in the premium segment. It is renowned for its high-speed capabilities and luxurious appointments, notably in VIP transport. The AW109 continues to maintain its dominant market position in the premium sector, despite Onsat's response to its Aorus luxury variant. MD Helicopters MD902 Explorer, which is widely used in law enforcement and emergency medical services, is distinguished by its NOTAR or the No-Tail Rotor system. However, it accommodates a smaller number of passengers than the Onsat. Although these Western competitors typically have more extensive global support networks and established operational histories, Ansat distinguishes itself by offering competitive pricing, simplified maintenance requirements, and reduced operating costs. This has fostered its growth, particularly in markets that have historically been associated with Russian aerospace products. Additionally, its recent complete localization of components which includes the substitution of PW207K engines with Russian-made VK650V engines, establishes it as a viable alternative for operators who are seeking independence from Western supply chains. The aviation industry is anxiously anticipating the first flight of this completely localized version of the ANSAT, which will mark another significant advancement in Russia's aerospace capabilities and its capacity to independently produce sophisticated aircraft systems as the ground testing phase advances. Now, do you think ANSAT can technically compete with the Western competitors? Let us know in the comments. Please like and share our videos and subscribe to our channel. Please also take membership of our channel to encourage us.